But you know they're not allowed in prison? Clover's driving the remote. You actually like watching the shopping channel 24-7? <gasps> Figure out my talent, I'll be the one driving home in my new awesome convertible, getting unlimited mani patties, not to mention bragging rights for a full calendar year. The pageant's in a couple of days. That doesn't give you much time. <laughs> Please, I've got plenty of time. <laughs> no, I don't. I have to go sign up by today. Come on, guys. You're going to give me moral support, and no, you don't have a choice. <laughs> I forgot to get excited. What color do you think my tiara will be? I'm thinking pink. Nothing says crushing victory like a pink tiara. Wow, Clover, you've already got it all worked out. You bet. Watch this. Me? You really want me? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love you all. Um, maybe you should actually enter the pageant first. Or better yet, don't bother. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mandy. I thought I smelled something funny. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't know why you girls are even wasting your time when I'm obviously going to win. Tell you what, Mand. I'll be nice when I win. I'll let you hold my flowers while I put on my pink victory tiara. Tell you what, Clove. Get ready to eat my sparkling pageant dust. I have got an edge on everyone else. Well, yeah, me too. And my edge will out edge your edge any day. Good one, Clover. Sorry, girls. Gotta run before too much of your uncool rubs off on me. Excuse me! Out of the way! Hello! Mew! Well, I'd Come never on, have dare much. you! Oh, it is so on! So, what exactly is this edge you were talking about, Clover? It's obviously not your tap dancing. No, there's a special new spa treatment called the Beautimizer that's going to have me looking pageant perfect. A spa visit? Not a bad idea, Clover. Maybe I'll join you. Oh, no! Get off her. You're going to love the Beautimizer. It's a total full body makeover. This baby does everything in a single pass. Nails, hair, makeup. Uh, well, let's get started already. I One 
his clover in. <laughs> Revenge is sweet, my little clover. I may be small, but let's see how you like being really, really tall. Enjoy the new you, Clover. <laughs> You know, until the pageant is over. Or we could get right on it. We'll start by keeping an eye on the other contestants. That should be easy enough. They all hang out at the groove. <laughs> Alexium! Are you there? What is it, Clover? A suspect? No! But check it out! Huh? All pageant judges love a girl who can juggle. She juggles as well as she tap dances. Hello, this is a stakeout, Clover. We're supposed to be inconspicuous. <laughs> Trust the 
groove and gets away with it! another scalp massage right now. I mean, while we're investigating, of course. I love the treatment so much. I just had to bring my friends. I'm so pleased. Now, if you would just step into the machine. Thanks, but we'll take care of it from here. We prefer to be alone for our treatments. Toodaloo, but... Mandy's machine, the copycat. Weird. This doesn't look like it belongs here. Hello, girls. Hey, Jer, we need you to analyze this computer chip for us. No problem. Just plug it into your X powder. Jerry, you're huge. I mean, we're talking serious fathead. Thank you, Clover. That is because the chip you found is a maximizer. It's designed to make anything bigger, including my hologram, apparently. Okay, so the chip made Mandy bigger, but why did it make her meaner? Well, Mandy isn't the nicest person in the world. Maybe it enlarged her bad attitude as well. But who would want a gigantic Mandy? That doesn't matter right now. We need to save those kidnapped girls first. I got the wrong machine. I guess I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. With my Alpha X10 Maximizer! Looks clear! We'll have them out in a second! Well, this case is all but wrapped up. Except that Mega Mandy is still on the loose. idea. Hey, Mandy! Where'd you get your hair done in the car wash? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What I meant to say was, you've got a bigger mustache than my pizza delivery guy! <laughs> nice job. I like the part about the mustache. Well, it's true. Ow! Hello, it's not like I asked to be 
turn into a 50-foot-tall monster like you. Just remember, no matter how much you want to be like me, everyone knows who the most beautiful girl in Beverly Hills is. Ha! If you think you're getting that tiara, it's already mine. Will you catty little... <laughs> <laughs> work, agents. I must admit, we weren't even aware Diminutive Smalls had escaped. He's just so small and easy to misplace. That tiara is mine! Oh, I bet you can't even spell tiara. My word, how long have those two been at it? Ever since they met. Well, I'll need to take Mandy with me. Huh? We'll erase her memory of this event and return her home. Make sure you also erase her memory about the pageant. She won't even know she entered. Uh, what? If you even think about messing with my memory! There, there. We won't do anything like that. Hmm. Oh well, I tried. This is it, the part of the night where you lose. Oh really? I thought this was the part where I get the tiara and you get the t-shirt that says sore loser on it. After long deliberation, the judges have made their decision. And the winner of the annual Beverly Hills pageant is... Gloria! Easy being a girl in Beverly Hills. Coordinating clothing is like a full-time job. 
it gets worse. You might totally love that new top you bought, but you can't even think about wearing it more than once a month. So you need another system to keep track of what you wore when. See, I wore this outfit last Tuesday, so according to this chart, I can wear the top again next year. Wait, hold on. This skirt goes with this top, but I can't wear it with this purse until 2052? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to wear black.